Hey guys and welcome to Gone To Series. My name is Ankush Gaurav and I'll be getting you through with Core Java series of tutorials. Java is a programming language based on object oriented concepts. You can use it to build web applications, desktop applications, mobile applications for game development and practically you can use it to program any electronic device like washing machine, TV etc etc. So if you know how to write programs using Java language, you possess a big skill that everyone demands in the IT industry. In this tutorial series, I'm gonna cover everything about Java with concepts, hands-on sessions, with real-life analogies. The complete course is designed for students having no experience or a little experience of Java and for professionals preparing for Java certifications. I've divided the tutorials in seven different levels and every level will have around eight to 10 tutorials in it. In this introductory tutorial, I'm gonna give you a brief idea about all these levels, which will form a good foundation for learning Java as a whole. Here we can learn everything needed to start up with Java. That is how to install Java, setting up its development environment, understanding Java's architecture, writing our first Java program, and most importantly, understanding why Java is so popular. In Java, everything you write is in terms of classes and objects. That is, the language is completely based on object-oriented fundamentals. Object-oriented principles are derived from nature itself. So the beauty of Java is when you write programs, you can always correlate everything written in it with real world. So the first level will form a good foundation for you to understand object-oriented programming skills and therefore the Java language. When you move into this level, you will be confident enough to visualize what is Java and what is object-oriented programming. Now it's a time to learn some language specific basic elements like data types, access modifiers, access specifiers, arrays, for loops, while loops, etc, etc. This level talks about Java language basic elements related to syntax. Before moving into the next level, you will be well acquainted with all basic elements of Java programming language, which you're going to use to write Java programs in the most effective manner. Java is based on object-oriented fundamentals. In this level, we'll explore everything about object-oriented concepts like inheritance, polymorphism, etc, etc. And we'll learn how to utilize these concepts using Java programming language. This is the most important level where I'll cover the power of Java by relating everything what we do in Java with real world with all concepts and demos. In this level, you'll be learning something called exception handling mechanism in Java. In simple words, it talks about what happens to your Java program when some error occurs in it. I give you a simple example while working on your computer. If some error occurs like computer not able to connect to internet all of a sudden, your operating system just pops up a decent message saying about the error that it cannot connect to internet because of some some reasons but doesn't really shut down the computer at the time of error or doesn't do something nasty with your computer. In short, it handles the errors or some kind of exceptions from usual behavior in a decent way. This is called error or exception handling. Same thing we'll learn in Java, how you handle all exceptions or errors in your Java programs so that you can give best experience to your end users or clients who are going to use your softwares written in Java programming language. This level is a favorite topic for interviewers. If you know this completely or to a greater extent, you are much confident and prepared for any Java certification exam or interview. Using collections and maps, you will learn how to store and process data effectively in your Java programs using its data storage and processing mechanisms. In this level, you will understand what is a threading environment, how Java supports threads and how it is used to improve performance. You run a Java program and it performs one activity or task at any given point of time, like adding two numbers. Now using 
these concepts that is using threading concepts you can instruct a java program to perform more than one task at any given point of time meaning parallel execution of tasks which means always a great performance so in this level you're going to learn everything about threads in java and here is the last level that is level 7 here we can learn all of the topics which we didn't learn so far like jdbc java generics garbage collection memory management in java etc etc we'll also build a sample project covering all java topics in the next tutorial we'll do the first thing in java that is installing java in our computer